Bills, I'm your host, Bills. Today on the Bills Show, we have ourselves a Chevy Cruze with a door regulator issue. Now, if you have any idea what I'm talking about, all these door regulators in these new vehicles run off a cable and they're all junk. They don't last very long or they get froze and then you go to roll them down, it pops the, the cable out of alignment and then it chews it up. So we got ourselves another regulator here. This is an aftermarket regulator. You're best to buy an aftermarket regulator and not a dealer regulator because you get lifetime warranty on aftermarket, you get one year warranty on a dealer friggin' regulator. Captain. So, there's a few things I noticed on this one. First thing I noticed is that this is folded back in and this could be from the window tipping and pushing it back in. So we'll have to heat that up and get it out. Now the way it is windy today, so hopefully it's not too bad for us for videoing. So I already got one, two screws out. Now we're just gonna pull off this cover right here and then we're going to feel you always want to feel the edge of the door light panel and you want to give her a yank job there you go chevy cruises are pretty simple vehicles to change regulators in they are so once you have the door panel off you want to pop off this little clip take it off and we want to try to kind of keep the plug on but we're going to remove it for now we're going to need the plug to work the window we'll just set that over there for now until we get things loosened up, Captain. So we got two torques here. Take that off. Now this one I have changed before. So we're gonna find out what's going on here. But like I said, it is very common and we look like we might get real lucky on this one. And it does look like it's off the track. Now they can return that regular, so they're gonna be super happy. So what happened was when it froze, instead of breaking the cable in the regulator, it literally slipped off the track which it was supposed to do. You don't over tighten these things right here because if you over tighten them, it breaks the cable instead of pulls off. So we got real lucky on this one we did. Frig, real lucky. While it's out, we're gonna have to lower the glass and we're going to have to fix the side molding. Oh man, they're gonna be tickled to death because now they can return that regulator, Captain. Oh yeah, baby. The only problem is now I gotta make my $50 worthwhile, Hey, okay? See what happens when a professional installs it? They install it so it's not over tightened and it comes off instead of breaks the regulator. How you doing? Not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta plug them both in with you. Beautiful. So we'll get that down out of the way. Actually, what we'll do is we'll take that right out of there. Let's get this door glass right out of here for now. Set her up on the Chevy Silverado. And we'll get this channel out of here. Okay, you can stop. I don't need to listen to you right now. Well, that's good. Very good. We're gonna have to heat this here because I don't want to pull the whole door apart. <sighs> we'll get out the high volume snap on friggin' heat gun, Captain. What the hell they do with that now? Frig sakes. Shirt's not in here? Where I normally put her. Of course it's not. There. Is it down here? No. Up here? No. There? No. Here? There? Oh, no. Frig. Must be downstairs. Actually, we'll lube the channel for him with some 303 from Go Glass and Accessories as well. See, that stuff works good for everything. Everybody needs to go to Go Glass and pick one of them up. Friggin' right, you do. Why wouldn't you? Here we go. Look at that. It's amazing what heat does. Perfect. A little bit of heat fixes a lot. There we go, Joe. These side panels go into the track, so you gotta make sure you're hooked on the right side of the track so they sit right. Perfect. How you doing? Why wouldn't you? Okay, now that we're done that, we can lube the track. Perfect. Put the door glass in. Make sure it's on the right side of the rubber. Sometimes you have to help it. There we go. Good. Careful. Easy. Frank. Turn the key on. Said so turn the key on. Oh, roll the window up. Oh yeah, they're gonna be pumped. The only thing is we gotta get in there to loosen them 10 mils. Ding, ding, it says. How you doing? Come back down again. Careful. So that's the only problem. You can't get to this other one without being all the way up. You can't be all the way up when it's not in. Need 10 mil, open end. So 10 mil, over, under. Frig, I'm surprised they come out of there. Those are tight. You can't go too tight on these or you'll break the glass. They're like a happy medium. They don't come loose because they're hot tighted. Like I said, when they freeze, 
there's a lot of force on these regulators. And if they're too tight, snap a rooski. Well, that one kind of feels weird though. Hopefully it's not a regulator. Huh, shouldn't be, should be mint. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you wanna play that game, do you? All right. Now, whenever you're tightening these things, make sure you don't use one of them rat tat tats. You use a hand bomber, because that way you can feel it. No rat tat tatters. Good. Good. Auto up. Perfect, auto down. Perfect, auto up. Nice. Okay, we'll disconnect this. There we go, set that aside again. Then we'll put this all back together. Perfect. I'm gonna get some tape this time. She's been off more than once. She needs some tapage. Cappage. I'll leave my signature tape in here, Jim. Perfect, perfect. How you doing? Great. You know these door panels are these I pulled apart and this piece isn't even there anymore because whoever did it threw it away. It happens, man. Let me tell you what. There we go, Joe. Good deal. Okay, so we get that, 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 this, and that, and the other freaking thing. Perfect. Put this back on. Can you see? Probably not. Careful. Easy. Gentle. You know, if you just rip the plastic around these two, too lazy to pull the screws out. As you can see, last time I had this apart, I wasn't too lazy and I pulled the screws out. 90% of the ones we do, that's been ripped before, which is just cocked right over. Who would have thought? Roll down, auto down, perfect. Put that back in, clip. Now we need the blue piece, my lock. Where did it go? Captain? No, 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 oh, wait. No, what is that? Well, that's for my shit. Nope. <sighs> nope. Nope. There. There it is. Other way. Don't drop it. Dead for Over. There we go. Clippy. This can go back in like so. I said, this can go back in like so. This can go back in like so. How you doing? Get in the hole. Captain. Nope. Hold on. Be gentle with these clips. There we go. There she goes. Nice. This can go back in. Nice. Screws can go back in. Nice. And I'll also give them a twenty dollar car wash because that's what I do. Now, some people, just so you know, would blame the installer on something like this if they've done it before and it's back for warranty. As long as you're honest and you tell them it doesn't need a regulator, and you tell them it's designed to pull off the glass when it's frozen. If it's frozen and it's too tight, it breaks the regulator. If it's frozen and you tighten it just right like I did, it pulls off the glass, which causes the regulator to stay in one piece. So it's either spend maintenance on it or you pay to have it replaced. So you can look at it that way. I like to explain myself because this is a perfect example of a lot of times you get people come in, they blame us because it stopped working. And this person is a very good friend of the family. So they were upfront and honest with me, it was frozen. And when it was frozen, it let go. So they said to me, I think it's a clip. And I said, because of the normity of it, it's probably a regulator. And a lot of times it is a regulator. These nice people here were right. And I like it when they're right. And I'm, admit, I'm good to admit when I'm wrong. So good on you. There you go. So I'm going to wash their car now. Have it nice and clean for them because they deserve it. Because they do, right? Hopefully everyone's having a good day like me. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And we'll see you on the next one.